Beyonce. Last time about what Beyonce is doing, which we kind of talked about it, but here they're saying now that Beyonce is 43, 45 years old, they're saying, honey, her whiskey, y'all, is rolling out globally, honey. They're saying that Sir Davis American Whiskey has taken the spirits world by storm. Having only launched out for pre-orders on August the 20th, they're saying that the brand officially hit shelves in liquor stores today. Y'all, ain't that beautiful? They said just in time for the founders Beyonce knows Carter birthday on September the 4th, which was yesterday. So she had a birthday. So her whiskey is coming out. Now they say it was named, y'all, after Miss Beyonce's great grandfather, y'all, Mr. Davis Hogue. He was a farmer, y'all, and a moonshiner during Prohibition. Now they are saying y'all that Sir Davis carries deep personal significance. Sir Davis is a way, y'all, for her to pay homage to him, uniting us, y'all, through a new shared legacy. Knows Carter said in that brand's launch announcement, y'all. Isn't that beautiful, y'all? She said, quote, our founder stated that her desire to enter the whiskey space and create her own brand, and we identified premium whiskey as an area ripe, y'all, for innovation and expansion. So Beyonce is doing it up, y'all, for her birthday. Her whiskey is out. So if y'all go out, yeah. So did she send some out, Ricky? Did she, um... Get, send y'all nope, a bottle. But I'll go buy it. Where, where, where can you get it? Oh, I'm liquor sure. Store? At liquor stores near you? Yeah. Honey. So it is out of some branch. I didn't get none. I'm surprised. I didn't get none yet. I yeah. probably got something coming. But if not, I will go buy it. I sure want to taste it. Yeah. So could we do that? <laughs> <laughs> we I sure do. I you, like that, you, you like that uh, that Tennessee honey, huh? I do like that Tennessee that's honey. That's whiskey? No. I, oh. th- I don't think that's whiskey. Is oh. that whiskey? Yeah, that's honey, Jack. Whiskey. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. I don't huh. know. I just know it tastes good, okay? Yeah. I tasted it when you gave me some once with that lemonade. Yeah, it was good. Oh, it was good, child. Yeah. Well, Beyonce, <laughs> if Beyonce <laughs> listen, girl, send us some bottles, honey, and let us taste it and see how your uh, Sir Davis tastes. All right, moving on. And other celebrity news, y'all. Oh, Lee Daniels, y'all. Now, we just had Lee Daniels oh, on the show the other day. Lee Daniels, baby, is speaking out, y'all. He is opening up, honey, about, he said, the horrible time that he had, y'all, making Empire. He said it was horrible. Really? He said I he said I only did Empire just so I could see what that experience was like, he told the um film stage. Now he said, um, so what it was like, he said it was horrible. He no. said absolutely the worst experience, horrible. He said, he said, but guess what? He said, forget the money, money, money. He said, I was able, honey, to put my kids through college, baby. Empire ran for six seasons, y'all, of Fox Garnering, honey, Ray reviews. And Bonanza Raiders once um earned it, you know, the title of the most valuable show on broadcast. Empire bolted Daniels into a new stratosphere of Hollywood cloud and creative opportunity. Y'all. But surmises that it was the money in itself that made the experience worth it. We loved Empire. I thought we yeah, loved we Empire. Did. We did. Yeah. We watched it for a long time. Weren't you on it? Yeah, yeah it was yeah. good. Empire Especially and that, Star. That first second season there. We used to yes. talk about it on Dish Nation all the time. Yes. yes. Empire well. and Star. He did Star too. the show that came after that. Yeah. Well, honey. Tell me about our he, Queen Latifah. Yeah, 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 yes, yes, he did that right. show too, yeah. Yeah, he said it was horrible, so I guess, child. Damn, I ain't get to be on Empire, but I was on Star now. Yeah, yeah. you was on Star? Me and Hank yeah. was on Star too, yeah. Really? Yeah. That was a, a good show. Care, it was yes, a good it show? Yes, it was, yeah. So, Ricky, what was your character again, you remember? Uh, I was actually hosting a event, hosting a show. Uh, uh, I don't know if it was a, uh, it wasn't a step show, I was hosting something. It was like an artist competition, I think. Right. Like a showcase. Yeah, really. Yeah, that was fun. I worked all day for them twelve hundred. I know that's oh. right. <laughs> you just right? be glad to do it for that even about the money. <laughs> for that right. scale. Yeah, you be happy for the opportunity. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's good. Then. Well, kudos out to him. Well, I hated that. I mean, he felt that way. But you know, those people, the producers and directors, and all the people that make you know shows like that, they know how they feel. So, and they know how it went. So, I guess that's why he felt that it just wasn't you know. One of his best um, things, so he said it was a horrible thing. But sometimes the, you can do a big project, but it don't be the best experience. And sometimes uh, you can have the uh, best experience, and, and it don't be a big project. So it yeah, just yeah, it yeah. just all depends. Yeah, well, well, kudos out to him because Deliverance, honey, it's a great movie, y'all. So if you haven't seen Deliverance, then it's really good. And you know, a lot of people saying you know it was spooky and scary, but it's a good movie. I didn't, I mean, I, it was good. All right. The Kahlua today, honey, is one of my favorite Kahlua. My Kahlua today, y'all, is lima beans. On the high end, you say lima bean, and on the low end, you say beautiful light green. That's your Kahlua for today. All right, y'all, give it up for uh, Gary with the tea. Woo!